There's a lot of cool stuff on the internet, right? There's LawCats and Fails and Facebook and YouTube. And, oh yeah, it's great for getting work done. But there's bad stuff out there, too. The bad stuff goes by many names. Virus, worm, spyware. But mostly it's called malware, short for malicious software. Malware's all over the internet. It sits on unsecure websites, email attachments, or browser add-ons. But it can also be found on USB drives or PDF files. You open the wrong file or visit the wrong site, and whammo, it's on your computer. Once there, it can replicate itself and spread to other computers. Most often, malware captures personal data, like credit card numbers or passwords, or corporate secrets, and it sends it back to the bad guys who created it. Those big data breaches you read about? That's right, malware. There are a lot of tools to protect against malware. At home, there's antivirus software and firewalls. At work, your IT department uses these and more to keep malware out. But these tools aren't enough, and that's where you come in. First off, you've got to turn on your baloney detector and delete those weird emails that come your way. If they look fishy or too good to be true, they probably are. While you're at it, don't download unknown attachments or use a USB drive you don't trust. And finally, don't ignore those alerts to update your software. They usually contain security patches that protect you from the latest threats. If we're all smart, we can avoid malware and keep the internet around for fun and shopping and, oh right, for work.